Hello and welcome to CS4010, the structural dynamics and the finite element analysis. In this tutorial, we are going to study the overflow stream of water over a concrete dam. So we click on ANSYS Fluent and click on Geometry. Here is our space claim interface. I select the unit is meter and I change the grid to 0 0.1 meter for an easy drafting. I also change the perspective to front view. Our dam is about 20 meter high and on the top of it is layer of water which is about 1 meter. The crest width is about 2 meters and it's a gravitational dam from the top I draw down with a very steep slope. At the toe we have a long basin of 10 meter and a wall of 5 meter to exhaust all energy. So this is our space. The water overflow the dam go to the toe and meet the wall and bounce back. So I click fill to make it a region. So I finished drafting and now I move to the mesh to generate mesh. So here is our region. I click on Z to get the front view and then I generate the mesh. The mesh element is a bit big so I need to refine it. I click on mesh control and then add the refinement. Click on the region and then apply. I also change the size control for the mesh generation so I use proximity and curvature and I change the mesh size to verify element and I update it. So you can see here the element is much smaller for an accurate simulation of the water flow. So now I need to define the boundary conditions, I click on the inlet and make a name selection region. And I get the name is inlet. It's one of the few default name uh, in ANSYS Fluent. If you choose another one, it may become a one or maybe outlet. So here. If I type outlet here, it will be by default changed to outlet, so I have to use another name, a concrete. And this one to be changed later, so I make a typo here. I make it outlet without T. So it's not the default name, so it's going to be a one later. And the other battery, because I don't want the water to flow out through this way, so therefore I also make it a, a battery. So I call it a top air. So I finished the uh, setup and I update. Now I go to setup to get the setting for the flow. So here is our interface of Fluent. I, may I have to change the simulation to transient and add the gravity. In the model, I can choose the multi-phase flow by volume of fluid with 
the body force and two phase for the viscosity i can change many here but i use the standard laminar now i need to define the materials which is air and water so i click on create and import from the library of fluent i move all the way down to see the water liquid copy and then close so now i already got the water liquid in the list of material now i need to define the phase so my phase one the primary phase will be air because at the beginning i don't have any water inside and my phase two will be water and I have to select water liquid from the list. For the solid, it is aluminum, but I don't care much about the solid in this situation, so I don't have to change this. Now, we need to define the boundary condition. So for the inlet, I get it's a velocity inlet is 0 0.5 meter per second. And I click on the water to change the volume fraction to 1, that means only water flow in. Because of the typo, so the outlet will be the stationary one. Because I don't use the standard name, you can change it later if you, if you want. And the other also the stationary one. Now I select the method. I can choose a uh, pistol or other, but in this simple tutorial, I use simple method. And I don't change anything in control. Now I need to initialize uh, the flow. So I use a hybrid initialization and I patch. I select the volume fraction is zero and assign to the body because at the beginning I don't have any water inside. And I go to conclusion activity to select about the interval I want to record the data. And I make some animations. The first one I want to have is a velocity field and have to create a new contour to display it. I click on field and then I select velocity and I select the body is the interior body, interior surface. I need to create the second one for the water phase. I try to save it in the image and create new contour to describe, to illustrate our water phase. I select, scroll down to select phase and select water and select the interior surface. You can see here is a bit red because you have water inlet from there. After the setting up, I can run the calculation. I need to select the time step, so I selected very tiny time step of 0 0.001, that means a milli second and I run for about 10,000 so it is about uh, 10 seconds so now here is a simulations I click on the simulation and then I run 
at the increment of 5 you can see the water flow is falling down with the end with the boundary and then bounce back thank you very much for watching and see you next time